back seat. I'll do it for you. If, do you understand? Yes. All right. No, don't mess my. Now they're about to mess my. No. I'm no, not the operator in this vehicle. So if you, op, if you do that, all right. I'm not the. I'm not. I'm not the operation in this vehicle. Are you gonna open the door? Why do you say somebody's no. not gonna hurt you? People are getting shot by the police. Oh. <laughs> oh. A police officer in St. Louis is shot at by a fleeing suspect and guns the suspect down. A police officer demands to see ID from a man in a car who refuses and then uses force to get the man out of the vehicle and arrest him. In light of tensions in America over race, terrorism, and simple crime, have cops become overzealous and perhaps more aggressive? Or is this just a logical reaction to a rise in violence from suspects and even the general public? Welcome to Midpoint. Jasmine Kanick is a political and cultural commentator with extensive working ties across several levels of government and also the co-founder of My Hood Votes, designed to get out the vote in some of L.A.'s tougher neighborhoods. And Andel Brown is an attorney with the Miami, Florida firm Brown Bella with extensive experience in jury and non-jury trials. I welcome you both to Midpoint. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and start out the conversation here, Jasmine. First of all, and let us talk about immediately what happened last night in St. Louis, where apparently there was an individual who fired, was under chase by the police, fired allegedly three times at the police. The officer fired 17 times to subdue and then kill the individual. And then there was a mini discourse. We're not going to call it a riot afterwards, where the citizens were very upset about what happened. Is it, and again, your opinion on this, is it not at least endemic to the police to try and stop criminals such as this who fire back at them? Or do you see this as overzealous law enforcement? Look, you know, I live in Los Angeles and we've had our fair share of issues with the police department. What I've noticed lately is that, yeah, there is, there's, I don't know if it's because there's more media attention. Uh, people are able to video and record things, so we're, we're seeing it more often than, than we have in the past. But it would look that way that, you know, maybe the police departments are a little bit more overzealous in how they deal with people. I mean, that first clip that you played from Hammond, you know, brought tears to my eyes when I first saw that. Um, I'm just getting the news about what happened in St. Louis, but I think overall people across the country are fed up with this type of behavior from their police departments. But are the police departments simply reacting because they get, quite frankly, I'm going to be honest here, they get attitude, they get a pushback from a lot of people here, and let's go back to the incident in the window. You'll find people who will say that all the guy had to do was give the cop his ID and it all would have gone away. Look, the police give attitude too. So let, you know, when we have these conversations about police officers, we can't keep referring to them or talking to them as if they're gods or if they're, you know, they're, they're people who have superpowers and we should always obey them. When I look at the video of what happened in Hammond, while me personally, I probably would have given my ID, some people, like the gentleman in the video, didn't feel that he should have had to because he was not the operator of the vehicle. He was just a passenger. But those cops were giving attitude. So when we talk about, you know, how civilians treat police officers, we also have to look at how police officers treat civilians. Okay, then those let me do that right now. Hold on one sec. I got a couple of minutes here, and then we have to take a break. Andel, okay. let me get to you on this right now with regard to the police. Again, I think good point. They're not gods here, but are they not authority at that time? And is there not at least a reasoning for people to at least do simple things like provide IDs well what we first have to look at is whether they are required by law to provide an ID in the case that we saw with the Hammond Police Department Jamal Jones who was a passenger in the car is not required when there there are three types of, of interactions that an officer can have with a citizen there's a consensual interaction there's detention and there's arrest he wasn't under arrest he wasn't being detained because they didn't have reasonable suspicion that he was engaged in any criminal activity, so it was consensual. The Supreme Court has stated that in a consensual encounter, you don't have to identify yourself, and you're free to walk away and leave at any time. It's all about consent. The officers in this case, they wanted information from him. He said, no, it should have ended there. But they wanted to continue to push the issue, and it all boiled down to, are you going to open this door or not? Are you going to get out of this car or not? And they took force which is excessive, and that's the problem we're having in the community, is that people feel that it's a matter of, I'm the boss, and you're going to do what I have to say, and nobody's abiding by the law. Okay, 15 law seconds, 15 job. seconds, and then I have to take a break. 15 seconds, and I have to take a break. Why not just give them your ID? You don't have to. Why, well, why not just walk away when they say no? 
Okay, that's fair. Now, other side of the break, I'm going to ask you both to stick around. We're going to shift from the cops to the population and discuss what they should be doing to avoid being abused and or shot at in the first place, and also hear from a representative of law enforcement. And later on this hour, the people who need to get more than a life and start getting the joke when it comes to things like suggestive television commercials. Have we really gone that far and lost any sense of humor in this? That's in telling it like it is. That's coming up much later, right here on Midpoint.